All right, today we wanted to make a short video to show you that you can use Phoebing's Leather Dye and Phoebing's Pro Dye in order to dye alligator crust. So the alligator crust is unfinished and uncolored. It looks like this. And for today's samples, we have light blue, green, oxblood, and black leather dye. We used the dauber to apply two coats of each color. And then once the dye dried, we took a cloth and buffed the surface to remove any excess pigment. And then from there, we use our leather craft sponges to apply a coat of Phoebing's Neutral Resiline. The Neutral Resiline is going to impart a semi to high gloss finish like this. And always remember that if you want to reduce or manipulate any of our colors, the best way to do so is with Phoebing's Dye Reducer. And that's going to work for both leather dye and pro dye. We've been getting more questions about how to dye alligator crust, so we just wanted to show you in a short video that the best way to do so is with leather dye or pro dye and then finished with resiline. We're excited to see if you can incorporate alligator crust in any of your upcoming projects.